Well, you know, it's it's always been a thought in the back of my mind. I'd say I first con seriously considered it around March, and I finally got around to actually going through with it. Built up the confidence. Now I'm here tonight. Just can't wait. I actually have not told my family about this, so this is this is an individual project, you know, a little little rebellious, rebellious action on my part. Um, I'm just hoping that they don't disown me. Well, you know, I was surprised. I was honored. You know, it's a huge step in Garrett's life, and I'm just really, really excited to you know be be that huge step. You know, he can't he can't do this without me, and so I'm just. You know, my, I'm a little confident, but at the same time a little nervous as to what I'm going to do. Because if I screw this up, you know, I mean, Garrett, Garrett might get made fun of a little more. I don't think I've ever made Garrett feel uncomfortable or like, pressure him to do this decision. Um, I mean, sure, we always make comments here and there, but I don't think it was ever drastic enough to make him do something that he wouldn't do on his own accord. Yeah, yeah, lately my friends have made a lot of harsh comments, just really been taking a lot of heat from them. Like, they've been saying it's like a little like feminine hairstyle, like like I need to like look a little harder, like I I, I didn't really want to do it personally, but I just had to, you know, and I, I need to do something. I just need to be accepted by them. I've heard it described many ways. Just a really, it's a really bad calic, like, apparently it's, there's a semicircle up there, I don't know. You can just part it to the side. This isn't, a lot of people ask me if I put gel in it, no, this is just natural, you know. And just flip it around. It's all just loosey-goosey up here. I got this hair from my father. My, my, my dad's been rocking this hair. He gave it to me. Now, now I'm kind of short, you know. I'm I gotta <laughs> gotta kind of grow up, grow out, grow out of the coop, just seek out green, greener pastures. Probably when I was a baby is the shortest. <laughs> I don't think I've really, I haven't really cut it too short since I was like maybe two or three years old, you know. So I've been been rocking this cut. It, it's it's just worked. It's got me. It's got me everything that I've ever had in life. Yeah, I'd say my hair's best quality, despite its many downsides, is its softness. And I think even though it'll be shorter, it'll still be as soft. I'm not, I'm not too worried about losing the softness. Like like a sheep when you cut its hair short, it's still soft, you know, like a like a young puppy's fur. It's still soft. Again, <laughs> I'm I'm not sure, you know, it's it's a, it's a big unknown, like maybe I'll be more, like, maybe I'll be more freed by the different haircut, but again, I'm taking on a more, like, conformist haircut after this, so perhaps I'm, I'm actually accepting the chains by doing this, we'll have to, we'll have to find out. I don't know, it's interesting to think, like, would I be friends with him if he didn't have that hair, just, I don't know. It's very soft and inviting, it like adds to his personality, and I'm sure he will be able to maintain the whole, you know, I'm a friendly guy without the friendly hair, but I'm not sure what, like, you know, 
new people who meet him, how that'll play out. I feel like I have a very strong grasp on, on you know, how to use the clippers and and how to, you know, go from anywhere from a dry cut to a wet cut, you know, to highlights even. Well, um, back in the 10th grade, I used to cut my own hair, actually. I, I used to go with the same buzz cut Garrett's, Garrett's going for now, and, you know, I I would go in the bathroom, I'd, you know, just buzz it myself, so I'd say I have pretty good experience. I mean, I gave my brother a haircut last summer at one point, so... That's probably the last time. You know, I'm, I'm going for, you know, the military buzz look, like sort of, you know, Garrett, he can be stern when you first look at him. You know, like right now people go into looking at Garrett and they see, you know, kind of like an idiot. And then they realize he's an idiot. You know, I want people to go and look at Garrett and think, you know, I'm going to take this guy seriously and then realize that, oh, I can't take this guy seriously. But, you know, one concern that I think I and... Kevin also has is that we both just you know what what if Garrett's personality completely changes you know he becomes he becomes that that stern boy that he looks you know he and if we're gonna go back to being like oh you know that, that's Garrett post haircut you know Garrett post haircut doesn't doesn't like this anymore Garrett post haircut doesn't want to hang out with us you know and it's so I mean if it becomes like a cooler person and too cool for us then you know all the best to him but we'll see. Well, you know, this is where it all goes down. These are where the cut the cut happens. You know, I have the I have my client. They'll sit here. I have this nice mirror right here. And I don't know if you can get it from the side angle, but it really helps because, you know, client knows what what I'm doing, what they're doing. I got the mirror because, you know, once I trim up the back, I got to show them how it looks. I got to make sure they're satisfied. Got the clippers just in case it calls for them. Two combs, you know, one for thick hair, one for thin. The brush. And then, you know, the, the real heavy stuff. The, uh, the big clippers, you know? And multiple combs and things like that. So we're going to go with those. I have my, uh, my hand trimmer charging right now because, you know, I'm going to need to get that. I'm going to need it for Garrett's back, you know, because to be honest, I don't know. I don't know if his haircut normally calls for a back trimming, so I might have to just carve it up myself, and it's gonna be a little stressful. I'm gonna hope I get straight lines in there. That's really a concern. Ready? I'm ready. Right. Let's do this. All right. So you know, it's good. Good. Now, welcome to the studio. Wait, what are you doing? The heck? You gonna put it over your head? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've never seen this before. Oh, look at that. <laughs> you know, um, I'm point another turn. I like to think that, you know, the bag is for two reasons. Number one, to make sure no hair gets on his shirt. Mm -hmm. and number two, to control his hands. <laughs> straight jacket. Yeah. So. Yeah. I'm in the old fashioned haircut straight jacket right here, you know? Look at this. Don't break the bag, you know, don't have too many lugs. <laughs> I can't if I tried. Pull over that way a little bit. Come on, here we go. Yeah, go closer, closer to the thing. I need room to sit behind you. Right there. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. This door would be nice. Closer. Yeah. This is a pretty serious moment. Close. Anyway. <laughs> it's all fun and games to look like actually. <laughs> 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 oh shit, dude. Here we go. I mean, you've had the side of your head buzz before. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the real deal here. Point that in. We can vacuum it. This is real. <laughs> this is real talk. <laughs> this is real, dude. <laughs> this, is, this is a game. <laughs>
I mean, now, you know, what we're seeing with this hair is just that it's so thin, and that, um, you know, this right here, that's a four, right? I went with the four, like, that's a big comb, let me tell you that. And if I wanted, I'm, I'll tell you right now, like, you see my hair, if I wanted to get that thin on my hair, I have to go to a one. So it's just one of the many surprises and plot twists that Garrett's hair might throw us tonight. And so it's a bit concerning. But, you know, we'll hopefully, we'll be able to stick with it, you know? I have complete trust in Ishak. 100% complete trust. He, he's the expert. I'm just the clay, hoping to be molded by Ishak. I'm a little bit skeptical yeah. about <laughs> what Ishak has I'm to offer. I'm a little bit skeptical. <laughs> I mean, he's never encountered hair like this before, <laughs> and frankly, I've never seen anything like it, so... I don't know. I mean, is he certified to do this? We'll see. Just go hipster cut. Just leave it. No, like, <laughs> Just leave it. Like, <laughs> You style that over like that, <laughs> gel it back, like, it looks pretty cool. <laughs> what do you mean? Like you, you comb that over? You won't be able to comb it. It does pretty Danny nice Brown cut? <laughs> I've done a, a rough trimming of the sides right now, and I'm thinking, you know, Garrett, Garrett could really look cool if he just, you know, went like this, but with the slick back, you know, if you look over the camera, you know, you kind of see, like, it looks cool, like, it's, you know, it's pretty, pretty, pretty wild, but at the same time, very, even that, that right there is, is something new, you know, you want something new, you want something crazy, <laughs> so crazy. and, <laughs> I mean, I think, a little bit of gel would just hold it back and to the side and I think it'd look good. I enjoy what's like going on, like what Ishak's trying to say in terms of like looking cool and like I'm glad that we were able to see like what it is and I, I do agree it looks cool and it should be explored for like future reference. But now I think we should just like we got it this far, we wanna see wanna keep going, see what else we can discover, you know. Perhaps just, I think we just go for the kill right now, you know. I agree with Kevin on this one, you know. We, we decided to cut it at first and came up with this minor discovery. Who knows what we'll discover if we keep on going, you know. I say we just keep digging to the bottom. Who knows, you know. We, we came here to cut it all off. And that's, that's what I'm going to do. It's it's definitely not not normal in a sense of like, like yo, it still looks fine, but like this is pretty high. Up. <laughs> it's really it's really high up on the back. Like, like, like no 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 no. It works fine. No 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 no. Jump jump jump. And Kevin, what? Look at her from the side. <laughs> the side is yeah, it looks fine from the side. It looks fine from the side. It's fine. Oh god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Dude, let's get your ass with a little patch off. Oh man. Oh. Okay, ready? Okay. Where are you? So. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I don't know what to say. Like, it's so Yeah, no, like, no one has done this except, like, us. Because, like, we're doing it. What, what's. What, this is, like, nothing. Then what's this right here? What level is that? Of, uh. <laughs> it's like a three. 
three. You can do like a. Oh, don't use that again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, makes man. Havoc. But like, you can transition <laughs> it a little. I was completely aware that this no. was gonna happen. <laughs> There's like a tan line. <laughs> we can see how much hair we took off because it's not like tan. Yeah. <laughs> I still feel like it's slanted though. Whatever. Do you? All right. Can we, all right. What we're gonna do, Garrett, is we're gonna we're gonna. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't think the slant matters. Yeah, all. we don't want to take any more off, right? So we're gonna leave it, yeah. and then we will come back in like two weeks, and then we'll just fix it up in the back after it's grown, because it'll grow like. Does it look like stupid enough to the point where you like look at it and you're like, oh, no. that kid looks no. really stupid? No. It looks stupid because we know we did it. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. That, watches, that, that's the question. Anyone that's who watches question. this video will know. But they'll, like, be like, they'll be like, like yo, yo, just no, come back like, your head and they'll be like, oh, you're an idiot. Your friends are idiots. You're an idiot for letting them do that. Dude, they're like, how, how insane would it be if we bring it up to here? Like, that'd be a crazy haircut. <laughs> That would be so cool! Be it's crazy. just like the wrong color though, isn't the skin the wrong color? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> it's some fucking white skin, dude. It's like it's snow like... white, like it's almost snow white. Like, I think it's snow white, wow. It's like snow. It's yeah, actually... It's white as snow. It's white as snow. Drowned snow. No, it's, a, it's, it's actual impressive. snow. Alright, Gary, I did the best I could. <laughs> we, we had it until the end. We could have had it Alright, so during the haircut, I felt great, you know, everything's going well, it's been a great time. Um, you can see me having, having a fun time out there. Um, we had the 8 on the top, the like, 4 on the side, it's feeling good about that. We, could, we knocked it down, I, I wanted to do that, I got the 5, 5 and like the 4, and that looked great. That, that was the look I was going for, but it's still a little sloppy on the sides, so we like, decided to go for the taper. And this is the this is the place where I really trusted I trusted the friends around me, you know, but I I didn't know what was going on. So I was like, you know what, you guys you guys have the better grass than me. I I didn't tell them not to do it. They went ahead to the taper. I, you you've you've all seen the footage. <laughs> you all, that wasn't that was not a pretty sight. But so that leads us to where we are now. The back isn't straight, you know, you got the tan line. I'm just, one thing that I'm worried about is, like, what, what are other people going to think? What are my future employers going to think? What's my family going to think? What's my girlfriend going to think? You know, what are, what are strangers going to think? And the truth is, I just have no clue as of right now. My, my emotions are all over the place. Perhaps it's a fine haircut. I'll just have to get more people's opinions. One thing that struck me as very startling was... The, the the exposed part where you know <laughs> sun hasn't been shining for years and you look at it and you're like this is actually white as snow like um, I have seen winter for a long time so very familiar with what snow looks like and it's a very similar color to what is on certain parts of the exposed portions of kids' hair, it's his exposed scalp, I guess, at this point. But, I mean, I don't know, that, that took me by surprise. I didn't, I didn't expect Snow White, and I guess here we are. Snow White and the Dwarves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, you know, 
overall like good time in there, but there was a good vibe and everything was going well and then all of a sudden you see Ishak out of nowhere just takes this random thing, I don't know what it was, and it just caused quite the commotion in terms of Garrett's hair and its future, I guess. I mean, for now, I mean, I can look at positives at this point. Positives, hair grows back. That's, that's about the only positive. Like, I guess, you know, change. Change is always nice. Um, it's tough to, you know, reflect upon this experience. It's been a roller coaster of emotions, optimism, and now just regret, maybe. I don't know. We'll have to see what the future holds. You know, I'm, I was the barber, you know, they, they put a lot of trust in me and, you know, I failed them and so it's, it's pretty... I failed him. <laughs> <laughs> I failed, I failed Garrett, you know, Garrett, Garrett really, you know, he really put a lot of trust in me, you know, when the moment he, he called me, he never doubted me and, you know, I, I doubted myself a little bit, Kevin doubted me a little bit, but, you know, and for, for good reason, you know, because I really just couldn't get the job done, you know. We were going well, you know, if you ask me, I think Garrett should have maybe stayed with the shaved side, um, like, flowing hair on the top, because that was really nice. And, you know, we kept going with it, and, you know, I made a mistake, you know, I, I used, I used these, the, the tapers, is what everyone, everyone's talking about them, you know, that they're, they're, they're hot right now, you know, and, um, <laughs> it was experimental. <laughs> I've used them before, but I guess, you know, sometimes... Things just don't go your way, and so, you know, these are the cause of just Garrett's haircut, but, I mean, I'm just gonna say, you know, I really don't think Garrett's haircut's that bad. I mean, if you look at it from the back, like, it's not that bad. If you, There's maybe, like, a little slanted mark, but, like, other than that, you know, I think I, I did a pretty good job of cleaning up whatever mess I made. Um, I think you'll only really notice the bad haircut if you happen to closely examine it and or know, um about it like us three in the room right now and so you know I really I really think Garrett's overreacting a little bit like I mean maybe he'll see with you know people that he interacts with but I think that um I think it was a pretty good haircut I think uh I think I'm qualified <laughs> to do another one <laughs> I think that uh you know I'll, if he comes back to me I think I'd gladly do his haircut or anyone else who's watching it you know I'm always open by Arlington Drive, you know, just come by my salon and uh, <laughs> I'll I'll give you a haircut. <laughs> Jeez, that's a tough one. Um, and here I am. I, I walked in the door and I wanted something bold, you know. I wanted something that would be completely different than anything that I ever had before. And I'm walking out and I got what I asked for, you know. I. I went to Ishak. I didn't go to a, 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 a reputable barber. I I made the, I made that decision early on. I wanted to, I wanted somebody who I thought was gonna be very bold, you know, experimental. I mean, perhaps next time I'll may, maybe bring a, a better friend. You know, I I had, I had two friends in the room. You know, both of them could have stepped in. Both of them could have stepped in and saved me from getting this awful haircut. And I guess I'm just going to have to live with knowing that <laughs> these three friends all stab me in the back when they have the chance, you know? <laughs> and that's just... That's going to be harder to live with than this haircut. You know, I still have to clean up all the hair in the bathroom. And it's a mess. But, you know, one thing I can't clean up is just the mess I've created with this whole haircut, you know. We'll get to a point where his hair will grow back and I'll be able to, you know, cut it the right way. The thing is, all these people, they all need haircuts and, you know, they're not gonna come to me. I mean, overall, this is a pretty good cut. Like, you know, it looks pretty cool. I like the new look, you know. The old look was a little bit, you know, goofy, like silly, and uh, that's classic gear, but you know, when you want to, you know, change it up, you got this new look that's 
you know, bold and, you know, from the front, you know, has a very strong appearance, which is, you know, good. Back, you know, slightly different story, but, I mean, overall, I'm happy with the changes that, you know, changes that I'm seeing. Yeah, so I walked in, goofy kid with the goofy haircut. I'm walking out with a very militaristic haircut, you know. Am I gonna be the same goofy kid? I think it just gets back to uh, will I own the haircut or will the haircut own me? I don't think that's just an important question in life, you know.